Hi guys, and welcome Hi. to this week's episode of 20 Minute Interview Woo Woo. Um, so lovely to see that you guys are following and I can tell you how much grateful we are for the comments and the interaction and so we know that what we're doing here makes sense. Today we have Anne from Sweden uh, who's going to be the interviewer and she, as far as I can understand, is an energetic worker, energy worker and a medium and all these uh, magical things. So I'll just give the word over to Anne. And I'm super excited what uh, everything's going to be about. So, Em, welcome. Thank you. Thank you very much. And nice to be here. And it's, um, I have some questions for you. Uh, things that I'm Exciting. thinking about a lot. Mm-hmm. Uh, our passion is to go to vortex places. Mm-hmm. And uh, we can measure and we can see energies. But... Uh, there have been so many differences in those energies the last years. Yeah. Especially we are interested in ley lines. Mm -hmm. So how did they arose? Excuse me, how did they what? When, how did they uh, started? How did it, it came to the earth, Mother Earth? So when we created earth and we wanted to create it like a, harmonious place with the vibration and flowing we created it with ley lines and energetic grids these ley lines and energetic grids are like portals and gateways and and floating entities they actually help the the world circulate in, in the order that it was supposed to but it's also linked to the rest of the planet systems within these ley lines because it's a part of creation Uh, sorry creation on earth (laughs) there lies a lot of memories and there lies a lot of knowledge so all after where we link to the ley lines we access different part of knowledge and deeper part of understanding and and memory of what has been and what is to be and what is in the moment is it uh, connected with the human uh, chakra system and the meridians so everything is connected. When we are on Earth, we are part of the whole, right? So there is the chakra system. It's a part of different places all around the globe. The, the, the energy dri- gl- gl- grids and the energy ley lines looks like the meridian lines within the physical body. It's the same if you take a three or you take like a broccoli. It, it's built up the same way as a human. We need to remember that we're part of this whole we're not excluded or or separated we, we are part of the creation so yes yeah. uh, where the ley lines meet uh, it used to be uh, what i call vortex places or holy places that have mm-hmm. been used for thousands and thousands of years where they built pyramids and churches can you please tell something about that so these places where the ley lines meets is of course amplified energetic grids which can be used as a portal and can be used as amplifying the energy of which you want to manifest and it has been used for both good and bad because both good and bad knows about its existence and it has been used for ages we are still using it and the good and the bad is still using it. We are the main uh, population that are unaware of its existence. And yet, no matter who walks on this sacred place, they will feel it. So, uh, What happens there now? Because I can understand that this is the places where uh, energies are changing a lot. How can we... Um, take advantage of it or how can we do to help mother earth to to visit these places how what the best thing we can do is remove our ego when we go there so the we have to not think about taking advantage of it but come there with an open heart and feel and listen to what she has to tell feel and listen to what the places and locations have to share and within that acknowledgement of love we can amplify that energy of a higher vibration of which we feel home in. 
if I look into the meeting points of the ley lines, there's some of them that are activated and the other of them there is deactivated, which means that they're not function as, as one at the moment. So that's one of the reasons why it feels like there's interruptions at uh, different places on these ley lines. Mm, the best thing we can do is give her space and listen to her story. Listen to what flows through the ley lines and let the places guide us. And just remember that as long as it's run through our heart and it feels like openness is the right thing to do, it's so easy to feel if it's a place that's been used for good or bad because you feel it in your entire system. Um, and be aware that even those places who have been used for darker forces can be turned into light. It's all about the intention and the heart. Thank you. How has these places been used uh, before by uh, humans 1,000 years ago, two, three, four, five thousand 5,000 years ago? They have, because they could storage knowledge in these places in stones mm -hmm. the, yeah they do How so did they... um <laughs> everything is consciousness basically if you have like a like a crystal this crystal uh contains consciousness and memory it it, it has the the vibration of of the um, what it has been what it has seen in life and what it has experienced in life, only that crystals and stones don't have um, the ability to judge one thing for another. They just observe and absorb. Um, if I look into some of these energetic places and especially pyramid places, it has been used for different things. One thing is storing knowledge and transcending knowledge. Another thing is gateway and portals between world realities. So the um, energy of which and the memory of which is hold is linked not only to this world reality but also to inner earth and out of space. We went to Egypt, uh, Diego, and we went to these temples like uh, the temple of uh, Hathor Temple in Dendera, the uh, Hatshepsut mm -hmm. Temple in Luxor. Uh, and what I can see, wow, beautiful! <laughs> yes, it was so beautiful, but it was they. We could understand that they storage uh, the old knowledge in the pillar because uh, in the stones. So if you can go into these places, you can connect with it. Can you please tell us something about it? So um, this goes for every place. It's not only the, the, the ley lines, but especially around pyramids, this is easier to access because it's so powerful. So basically what you do is if you, you see the stones of the walls, you see them with love and no ego. And some people touch them, others just feel and connect with them. You become one with them. And then basically the stone will give you the information. It will show you the memories. It, it has this thing where it holds onto memories and you need to have a certain vibration in order of entering their space. And that vibration just is a matter of uh, an open heart and and a certain sound frequency and that sound frequency is is like a vibration only match to being the key who opened the portal to access the knowledge but that by sound vibration can also be the vibration of your soul it doesn't necessarily need to be voice mm, interesting thank you very very interesting and okay. What uh, what uh, is understand that the water, uh, the water veins also have a very very special uh, purpose on these holy places or these vortex places. For what? sure, like water, water is flowing consciousness. Water is love. Water is what circulates around the whole blue planet mother earth <laughs> and it flows within our system water is what combines the ley lines in a physical sense and yet um help floating the energy through the third dimension because one thing is the energetic grid which is five six and above but when you take it down to the 3d dimension you need a physical substance yet you need something that is flu fluent and floating so we've been using water to transcend and connect these ley lines. Interesting. And how can we, as human people, 
uh, uh, take advantage of this because it's free. We have it all over. And what I can understand, it is a very good place, good places for healing, for heal ourselves to, to open up our consciousness. Yeah, so as a representative of, of the source of this creation, um, we don't like the word taking advantage of. <laughs> I'm sorry, I have to say this. <laughs> because um, it's all about being one with. And the healing is occurring the moment that you feel the love and the trust. You can access this no matter where you are in the world. Just that when you are on these energetic places, connecting to the ley lines and the flow of the floating love, the flow of the source memories, then it's easier to access this. Your, your cells has a vibrational memory, which is uh, vibrationally matched to what is going on on these sacred places. What you as human can, what we as humanity can do is to become more conscious of our self and become more conscious about these places not being just touristic places, but these places being sacred places that hold vibration of healing and love. And, and when we enter that space with an open heart, we become the match for the energy days. And therefore, it also heals us together with healing this place. So it empathizes. And then we bring that with us home. And then that vibration is what we learn to send out. So uh, like rings in the water, go there, heal, bring the healing home and spread the healing in your surroundings. That's what we hope for. If I speak from the stones and speak from the ley lines, speak from the ley lines, first, ley lines would like to be, uh, they like us to know about their existence. They like us to know that that they are floating through the earth and the consciousness and the memories, but they also are holding a bit back. They're holding a big back because they remember some of the bad things that have been happening around the globe, even that they are not able to per se judge. They still feel if the earth is in balance or not. So they want to be seen and yet um, they wish you to enter with that open heart and open field. If I look into the stones, Many sacred places, they feel neglected and not seen for a longer period of time. And the knowledge that they hold, they're ready to share for those who are willing to look at it from a place of no judgment and being open for receiving whatever is to come to them. And again, what I see with these power places is that it has been used for both good and bad. <laughs> and that shows up over and over again. But what... I really need to remember to say is that it contains so much light. It contains so much healing, so much love, so much truth. And for those who are ready to enter that field and become part of that field and amplify that field, they are so ready to receive you and embrace you and heal you and be one with you. It's like a treasure that we don't use. It's there to in love to, to for us to, to receive. That's why I, this is so important because it's a, it, there are places to heal us. They are everywhere. Yes, true. Yeah. But what we need to do is we need to remember to, to search inside. Even when we take places that are supposed to heal us. We need to, of course, embrace the healing are there, but we need to look inside. It's it's a it's a inside work that is very important in this time, and um, and they just long for recognition. Again, it's like humans, right? What do we long for? Love and recognition. How do we react when we see a newborn child? We go like, oh, it's so cute, 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 you know. <laughs> so so it's kind of the same when you come to these places. They just want to be loved. They just want to be seen. So. I have this thing like I see this stone and go like, oh my god, you're so cute! You know? <laughs> and people are like, what? He's talking to the wall. But it's this thing about, yeah, uh, recognition. So as long, much as we long for love and recognition, and the same does that consciousness of these locations for sure. Thank you. I think uh, Roland ha has some questions now, and I say thank mm -hmm. you. You're so welcome. Um, we're going to split the interview, so I'm just going to say, and thank you so much for being here. And you are such a beautiful being, and uh, it's really an honor. 
Thank and you for, very much. You're so welcome. And for all of you viewers, thank you for uh, being with us today. And if you have any questions at all to me or Anne or comments about the subjects or ley lines or et cetera, just write in the comments below. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't done it yet. And there are some like buttons. Just go like all in crazy on it. And we will see you again next week. Doodoo! -doo.